Okay, so today I want to talk about three different minerals that can look really similar, but are actually very different. And I have a few varieties, just know that all of these come in a lot of different forms. Um, so in the field, they can end up looking really similar. So let's just take a look. So this guy here is really, this particular sample is clear, um, but it can be more uh, or less transparent, like this sample here. And the crystal forms can be in a lot of varieties too. And this is calcite. So one common form of calcite are these, these rhombohedrons. So you'll find it like that, and that's that will help you identify it as calcite. The other thing is calcite is really soft. So calcite's about a three. So calcite will be much softer than our other mineral here, and that is quartz. But as you can see, now here I have well-formed quartz crystals, right? So you might say, oh, I knew that was quartz, but it's not always um, in this form. And so as you can see, just the clarity alone um, could make the clear versions of these end up being similar, or actually the, the not so clear version here, if you look at the back of this quartz with this against this, like would you know which one's calcite and which one's quartz? So it does get a little tricky. But quartz is a hardness of seven. So one thing is, again, the crystals, the crystal shape, crystal forms you wanna look at, and the hardness. A seven is much, much harder on a Mohs scale than the soft calcite. So do a hardness test and that will help you. Um, it's just a little tricky sometimes to find a spot where you want to scratch a good piece. But take a piece that you know is the same mineral and do a scratch. And you should be able to scratch this with copper, a copper penny. You should be able to scratch it with the quartz itself. So that will tell you right there the difference. Um, but see, as you see here in this piece, it's kind of sparkly. And you might think, oh, is that quartz, right? So that kind of looks like the other one. But it's not. And we could do a test on this and see that the softness will tell us that this is indeed actually not quartz, but just a mineral that can sometimes look like it. So, okay, so we, so we have calcite and we have quartz. What about this one? Is this, is this also calcite? It looks a lot like this piece right here, which is calcite, right? This is the same thing as this. These are calcite. This one just has a little bit more of a, a kind of a fuzzy look on the surface. So um, this is actually a piece of optical calcite there. But um, these two, when it gets like that on the surface, and this guy here, they end up looking really similar, right? But this is actually a different mineral. And I've already scratched at it a little bit, and what you'll see is this is actually even softer yet than calcite. This is about a two on the most scale. I can scratch this with my own fingernail. It's so soft. And this is gypsum. So there you go. These are three different minerals that can come in transparent varieties as well as, like I said, different colors and um, different levels of opaqueness. But these are three whitish to clear minerals that you can sometimes get confused. But if you just follow those basic mineral properties, you can tell them apart in the field. And that's great if you're rock hounding or collecting minerals. Now I go into a lot more detail into gypsum and calcite and quartz here at Let's Go Geo. So if you want to learn more details about these three minerals and really study their properties, then check out some of those minerals that I have, or some of those videos on the minerals that I have here at Let's Go Geo. Otherwise, I'll also take you on some in the field adventures for rock hounding and learning geology. So I'll see you guys there on the next adventure.